Hey guys, how you guys doing? Today I want to to show you how to mod a cold steel clip so it fits your Spyderco paramilitary too. Now the clip that I'm talking about would be the one off of a knife like the American Lawman or the Recon One uses the same clip or the Cold Steel Code 4. Those three knives use the exact same pocket clip. And here they are right here. Now, you'll see I've already actually done the modification, so I'm just gonna walk you through the steps. And of course, this is the original clip that comes with the PM2. Let's get rid of that. Now, first, you're going to want to go ahead and gather uh, these tools and materials. Uh, you're going to need move that out of the way, uh, T6 Torx to take off the clip. Uh, you're going to need, well, obviously the clip. Uh, you're going to need vice grips. Preferably if you have the uh, the rubber guards to put over the, the jaws, the teeth of the vice grips, because you're going to use these to actually hold the clip while you're grinding off the section because the clip gets really, really hot when you're using the Dremel. Now, if you don't have vice grips or if you don't have the rubber coverings, um, you know, you can just use pliers and maybe use like a thin rag or you could put tape, like duct tape over the jaws and then that way you will not scratch up the clip when you clamp down onto it. And Dremel or any ro rotary tool, tool will do um, with the cutting wheel that's made specially for metal. Now, if you don't have a rotary tool, you can just go ahead and use plain old sandpaper. Cause then what you'll do is you could just, it'll take you a little bit longer, but it's doable. So you'll just take the clip and then you'll just kind of rub it on the sandpaper. It'll work. And you're gonna need a paint marker this one's flat black, it's Tester's brand. Uh, if you don't have a paint marker, you know what, you can just go ahead and use just a black Sharpie. And what that's gonna be for is to, once you make the, the cut or you perform the sanding on the clip, you're gonna wanna have the, the marker to cover up, you know, to cover the, uh, the exposed metal that's left over after you've made your cuts. Now, let's see. I went ahead, let's get some of the tools out of the way. I marked the section where you would actually make your cut. So can you guys see that? Just took a piece of tape that's the section that you're going to want to chop off. Now this would be for a tip up configuration. Excuse me, tip down configuration. Um, I, I know a lot of you do not like to carry your knives tape down. Let me tell you why, why I do prefer to carry some of my knives that way because I don't know about you guys, but I get a lot of debris in my pockets, you know, throughout the day. So when you're carrying it, when you have a knife in your pocket, at least, it, let me let me rephrase that, in my pocket, when it's tip up, I always end up getting a ton of debris in the, uh, in the pivot. And that just kind of messes up the work. So with some longer knives, I do like to carry them tip down like the PM2. So the cut that you would be making here would be for this configuration 
of tip down. Now do you see how I went ahead and did that? There you go. And then I used the paint marker to color in the section that was cut. So you do not see any exposed bare metal. Now you can, you can still do this if you do, if, if you're just absolutely insistent on carrying your PM2 uh, tip up, you can do it, it'll work. It's just gonna be, you have to just take off a little bit more material and I'll show you here on this satin clip. See if you can, you guys can see the differences. Yeah. So you'll just end up taking up, just taking off just a little bit more metal for the uh, tip up configuration. And then when you're finished, you will only need to use just two, screw, two of the screws. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but you know, when, whenever, well, you know, when you buy a cold steel knife, they send you two pocket clips. Well, the one that's actually on the knife, and then they give you the spare. So on the flip side, because of the curvature of their clips. And speaking of that curvature, look at how nice it looks on the PM2. I mean, look at that, how the curve, the curve here on the clip kind of matches the slight curve of the handle scales. It almost looks like it was made for this knife. Now, there are a couple tips that I want to just make you guys aware of. Now, when you are, let's, if you are using a rotary tool, make sure that when you do make your cut, you do it from the back, you start on the back of the clip. That way, if you slip, if you move around, you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna scratch up the show side. So if you make any mistakes, it's no big deal, it would be on the back. So please, yeah, make sure you make your cut on the back side of the clip. So, now what you want to do is then I'm going to go ahead and get the vice grips out and I'm going to show you how I how I clamped it. See that? So then you would hold it with one hand and then from the back side then you would go ahead and make your cut because the clip heats up really really quick when you are using a rotary tool. Very important. Or you know what, you could probably even, if you have gloves, you could wear a glove. That would protect your hand from the heat. Get rid of these. So, if you guys have any questions regarding this modification, by all means, comment. And you know what? While you're doing that, you might as well just go ahead and like and subscribe, right? Ah, what the heck? But yeah, go ahead. Like or don't like. If this is garbage, let me know. I do have a couple other knife hacks that I, I would like to post videos for you guys, uh, specifically one for zero tolerance knives. Yeah, so stay tuned. That'll be coming very, very soon. So thanks again, you guys, for uh, stopping by, and I'll see y'all at the next video. Take care.